If you're upgrading from an old electrical system, such as a MasterCon or LimoTouch, you should consider MTG Innovation's new Smart Touch system. It'll eliminate frustrations brought on by lack of tech support or parts. To begin with the process of upgrading your system, you'll need to determine what options are on your limousine that'll need to connect to the Smart Touch. For this demonstration, we've determined that our vehicle has mood lights, floor lights, radio, TV, solid partition, heat and air conditioning, three-speed blower motor, and condenser fan. Next, locate your vehicle's input-output module, or also known as IOM. Disconnect the positive terminal from the battery connected to your IOM. If your vehicle has two batteries, it's recommended to disconnect both. For the MasterCon and the Limo Touch system, we've included in the kit wiring diagrams which show the inputs and outputs of the IOM. It's vitally important to make sure all wires are labeled before you cut them so you know where they're supposed to be connected to the Smart Touch system. If you miss a wire to label, it will be very difficult to identify later. Using your list created at the beginning of the process, locate the wire for the components using the supplied diagram for your electrical system. Remove the facing of the old MasterCon system and match up the connections. For example, this connection is J10. You'll see the wires are all identified on the sheet. Using the supplied labels, tag each wire. Write the component name on the blank label if it isn't on the label list. Check each plug throughout the system until all wires are labeled according to your options list. Unplug all plugs from the old system and you're now ready to replace the old input-output module. Now it's time to mount the Smart Touch IOM. Make sure to mount the IOM closest to the wire connections so you don't have to extend the wires. Before connecting Smart Touch to any components, make sure all the necessary connections are made for Smart Touch to power up. Smart Touch's IOM is a powerful output module and doesn't have ground connections for the components. If your components are grounded at your old IOM, not at the components location, we recommend our optional grounding block. Mount the optional grounding block close to the IOM and wire harnesses ground wires. Run a cable from the grounding block to the vehicle's chassis ground. Run cable from the grounding block to the Smart Touch's IOM negative ground stud. Make note that cables are not included and the cable gauge and size should be equal to the battery's cable gauge and size that is connected to Smart Touch's IOM. Connecting Smart Touch's IOM directly to the vehicle's battery will cause a battery drain. Included in the kit is our master shutoff solenoid. We recommend that this solenoid is mounted to the interior in an accessible location and clear from grounded objects that could short against the solenoid's battery connections. This solenoid will disconnect the IOM's main power input on the IOM, eliminating the possibility of a battery drain. Connect one side of the solenoid to the battery's positive cable. The cable size and gauge is determined by the amount of amperage your components require and the length of cable required to reach the battery. Your vehicle could have one or two batteries. Connect the solenoid to the additional battery if your vehicle has two. Connect a positive cable from the master shutoff solenoid to the positive stud on the IOM. Cable size and gauge should be the same size on both sides of the solenoid. Connect a wire from the ignition 12 volt to one side of the solenoid. Also run an additional wire from this point to pin 4, plug J16 on the IOM. The wire size should be at least 18 gauge. Connect a ground wire from the other side of the solenoid to the chassis ground or connect to the optional grounding block. The wire size should be at least 18 gauge. Connect a wire from the battery side of the master shutoff solenoid to pin 3, plug J6 on the IOM. This wire is for battery sense and will show the battery voltage on the front controller. Smart Touch requires one battery sense wire connected for the system to turn on. 
The wire size should be at least 18 gauge. Connect the rear controller cable into the IOM. Connect the other end of the cable to the rear controller. Connect the front controller cable into the IOM. Connect the other end of the cable to the front controller. You have now completed all power and ground connects necessary to power Smart Touch. Turn on the ignition key and both front and rear controllers should turn on. If all connections are correct, you will have a green ring showing around the master on button. At this point of the installation, you should now be ready to connect the components to Smart Touch. For troubleshooting purposes, my controller didn't turn on. Test battery voltage. Test for ground on one side of the master solenoid. Test for ignition power on the other side of the solenoid and pin 4 plug J16 on the IOM. My master on button has a red ring. The auxiliary or factory battery sense wire is not connected. These connections are connected directly to the battery side of the pin 3 or 4 plug J6 should test 12 volt. We're ready to go into detailed instructions on how to connect components to Smart Touch. Disconnect the battery that the IOM is connected to. If your components are not grounded at their location and they're grounded at the old IOM, reconnect all the ground wires to the grounding block. Connecting components wires to Smart Touch's IOM. Components can be connected directly to the IOM's pins or you can remove the plug from the IOM and connect your wires. Then press the plug back into the IOM. It's important to note that you do not want to remove the plugs by prying with a tool, risking breaking the plug or housing unit. Plugs can easily be removed by hand. 